What is up, Hilljack Nation? Welcome to another episode of Hilljack Outdoors. We are headed out for the afternoon hunt on opening weekend of gun season. If you saw the last video, you know I killed a buck this morning on opening day weekend of gun season. So hopefully Mr. Rick over here will get him one. Hope so. And uh, I'm getting a doe, I hope. But uh, we got that. We got my buck taken to Compton's Processing and uh, getting it taken care of. And uh, we're gonna see what we can do this afternoon. So come along for the ride. Let's see what this video brings. guys back in the stand I'm in what we call the double stand uh, if you remember I'll show you to turn this camera around uh, this is where I killed a couple of does a couple years ago two in one sit during a, I think it was muzzleloader season maybe uh, no that was during rifle season muzzleloader season I was in the bat stand when I killed two so Anyway, I killed two in one shot, or not in one shot, but two in one sit in this stand. So since I killed my buck already, I am uh, just sitting here hoping to see a doe. Be my luck, the biggest buck ever I've seen in my life will step out, but that's all right. I'll say boo and scare it to Rick maybe, but anyway. Here's the field. You've seen it before if you've watched my videos. <sighs> Had corn in it this year, but now they obviously you can see some corn coming up, but they planted it in winter wheat too. So that's what we've got working with us, and uh, we'll see what we come up with. Y'all stay tuned. Guys, you can see I got a rag laying over my scope in so it doesn't get wet. We just got a slow drizzle taking place. I haven't filmed a whole lot just because of that, but it has stopped for the time being. So anyway, I'm keeping that covered up in case I need it. And uh, birds are flying by, landing in the trees with me. But uh, anyway. It's actually a very comfortable, pretty day, except for the steady rain. But anyway, y'all stay tuned and see what we get into. Well, Rick just texted me that something ran to the my side of the old pond, which would mean it would come out of this line here. He didn't know if it was a doe or what it was. But I'm looking anyway. We'll see if anything decides to show up.
watching him anyway, but he's lucky I already filled my tag. I might pick a shot. But I'm not shooting over the four corner boat. But maybe he'll go in here and chase a doe out. That'd be ideal. All right, good morning, guys. I'm back in the stand where I shot my buck. It is a dreary, kind of sprinkly morning. We're supposed to have a little window here where it doesn't rain too hard until about nine. So you can kind of hear it now. But I'm back in this field. You can probably hear a little bit of raindrops. Just a little shower coming through. And, uh, I'm up here hoping to catch a doe. Rick is around that bend right there hoping to catch a buck or a doe. We'll see what we can get into. Well, guys, we gave it the old college try. When we woke up, the radar said that we were going to be good until around 8 or 8.30. And about 20 minutes after we got in the stand, it just unloaded on us. And it wouldn't stop. So, it's still raining. So, we're done for the morning. We don't have no shooting houses to get in. We need a shooting house, Rick. What? We need a shooting house. Yeah, we need to get a shooting house. We gotta have something we can get in in case it's raining like this because we were getting drenched. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, Rick has still got to fill that tag, fill some tags. Hopefully, he'll be out here hunting oh, yeah. sometime this week. I got to go back to work. But, uh, you got two weekends and he's got two, two weeks. And he's got a winch on that thing, so he don't need help getting it in the back of the side by side. He can do it on him own. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Like my video, subscribe to my channel, and as always, until next time, God bless y'all. Peace.